Hey guys, today I'm reviewing Duster Stratosphere. It's around 50-ish minutes. It's around 17 tracks. I actually really enjoy the pacing on this album. A lot of the songs on this album are super short, three or two minutes, if not less. And then there's a few longer cuts that are anywhere from four to six minutes. Now this album falls under the genre slow core. I don't really know what the fuck that means. I can guess from the name, boom, it means like slow-ish. Throughout the whole album, it sounds relatively similar. It maintains this sort of guitar sound, if that makes sense. The type of guitar they use and the way they play it, it sounds very similar throughout every single track, except some exceptions, which I'll get back to. But because of this, it sounds like a very cohesive album, but at the same time, not super varied, but sometimes it is. Two of the tracks that definitely sound different from the rest are the intro and the outro, which I think are really good, and they complement each other really well. When I listen to both the intro and the outro, the one word that comes to my mind is alien. I also want to say that uh, the intro sounds like a Windows XP starting up. Um, it sounds like something's leaving or entering, but because it's like all this glittery sort of fucking weird ass noises. The outro serves perfectly. It has those weird ass noises with the gentle guitar, and then it fades out, which I think works really well for this album, just because of how mellow and sort of relaxed it is. And the intro is the exact opposite. It fades in with this kind of twinkling guitar noise. My favorite parts of this album are when it's trying this like kind of crazy, more loud aspects mixed with the quiet part and you see this on tracks like stratosphere the queen of hearts earth moon transit where instead of kind of these soft vocals that we get on a lot of tracks with the guitar it's more of this loud almost post-rock sound and it reminds me a lot of slint so i don't know if they're inspired by slint based off of listening to this album i would say they are i don't know if that's official though because it reminds me a lot of slint but the album even during the softer moments are very nice it's super mellow it's relaxing and it's great music to just kind of sink into you don't think about it too hard because it's more about creating that vibe you feel me it's like <laughs> this time i'm really gonna do it if i describe this album like just super short it's that one thing it's like but I mean, chill, chill like, like that. that but at the same time because of that it doesn't leave a ton of variety throughout the album and at some points i'm kind of bored or i feel like man i would have really liked more experimental tracks like earth moon transit instead of more mellow track because a lot of it kind of bleeds into each other and a lot of it sounds super similar to each other when it's too much like this i feel like tracks lose meaning because they sound similar though a lot of the songs sound super similar throughout the whole thing i think with its relatively short runtime and long track listing it helps that overall there is some experimentation which i think shines way above all the kind of soft-spoken vocals and guitar track and i'm going to be giving duster stratosphere an 8 out of 10 so that's my thoughts on Duster Stratosphere. What do you think of the album? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you have some other thing you want to say? Say it in the fucking comments. But besides that, thank you for watching and have a good day. Like the sparkles, like glasses. I'm